Thanks for staying with us now. Oremu Adejimi was last week elected as mayor of Longford County Council, marking a series of firsts as she's the first migrant, first African and first black female to become mayor. That's a lot of firsts. Mm, it's amazing. A lot of firsts Having you. followed in her father's political footsteps, she is hoping her year as mayor will bring more diversity into politics in Ireland. She joins tonight to tell us more. First of all, congratulations, congratulations. Raymond. Thank you so much. It's a, an amazing opportunity to be here. It's unbelievable. Thank you for having no, me. No. So when were you elected? Uh, on the 23rd of uh, June, so of last Wednesday. Oh. Wow. And do you feel very proud wearing the chains this morning now? Unbelievably proud. I'm proud for myself. I'm proud of my family, my community. A great town of Longford. Longford is an amazing place. I have thrived in Longford. I've lived all my Irish life in Longford and it's just amazing. I'm so thankful to the community. Yesterday I was taking a walk and somebody literally stopped me coming out of the estate saying congratulations. You know, everyone is so warm and, uh, and, and friendly and cheerful and, you know, this achievement has been celebrated by all natives and migrants. So it's oh, incredible. It's amazing. So you moved uh, here 18 years ago. You've, you've had all three of your kids here in Ireland. Yes. Uh, why did you choose to move to Ireland from uh, Nigeria? Yes, so I was uh, born and raised in a town called Wari in Delta State in Nigeria. I'm second of uh, seven siblings, or five girls and two boys. Lived a sheltered life. My parents met in university. So um, we grew up there, stayed in the town. I went to boarding school and uh, got married and you know, a change in my personal circumstances led me to relocate to Ireland. I'm uh, from a Catholic background as well, so I'm quite familiar with Ireland. We had Irish priests, Irish nuns, so oh, okay. I knew them going up. So it was kind of, um, it had a sense of coming home, so to speak. Mm -hmm. I missed my big family, you know, our, mm -hmm. our large family, similar to the big Irish families. But um, I think bottom of my decision was, you know, to have make a fresh start and you know succeed in wherever I was going and what I was intending to do and once I had that resolve it was going it was you know smooth sailing and I'm thankful I landed in Longford <laughs> an incredible place as I said before yeah. and I got the support and uh, you know I grew and developed in Longford I was very young when I came to Ireland I was yeah. in my mid-20s yeah. so you know here I'm totally transformed I'm a totally different person from when I arrived and you know, I'm so fortunate to have, you know, this, you know, incredible yeah. experience. And how did the politics come about then? How, how did you get involved with Fianna Fáil? It was in 2016 where um, a, my friend uh, Jimmy Morgan ran in the local, in the national general elections. Uh, unfortunately, he didn't get elected. However, I caught the eye of uh, my neighbour who is in Fianna Fáil and he asked me to join the party. And my neighbour is now a TD in the party as well. So um, I have been hugely involved in my community. I am on the board in my children's primary school when they were there. I am uh, involved in the PTA in secondary school. I am in the pastoral council in church. I am um, in, <laughs> I'm in GAA. I'm the integration officer, wow. the integration officer in Longford slash GAA. So I'm really big into community activity. And you know, it helps me uh, integrate and it helped me, you know, understand the Irish culture as well and, you know, helped me raise my kids most importantly. So that was another opportunity for me to engage with another cohort in Longford. So, yeah. you know, I jumped in, both feet in, as I do with most and things. you know, it's so refreshing because obviously the Lord Mayor of Dublin, Hazel Chu, has spoken about, um, you know, racism she would encounter. That doesn't seem to have been your experience at all in Longford. I think maybe it's part of being in uh, rural Ireland, I don't know, but um, it is. Um, it, it has been incredible. I was embraced in Fianna Fáil in Longford. Mm. I was encouraged to even participate during meetings. I, I went to fundraisers, you know, conventions, the president's dinner, anything that's happening, once I'm told I'm there getting involved, it has been incredibly positive. Obviously, there's negative with everything we yeah. do, uh, but I always, um, uh, resolve to focus on the on the positives and encourage you know my friends encourage my community encourage children with you know who are born here or by migrant background mm. to always highlight the positives in, in everything yeah, so what will that impact be like say for you know as you say for people of migrant backgrounds what impact will seeing you wearing the chains you know it's the sole ethos of if you can't see it you can't be it you know with you now being visible uh, on, on this national platform, you know, what will that mean? 
Oh, it's it means the world. It's incredible. It, it means that people see themselves. People can envision themselves mm -hmm. in any aspect of society, and that is what I try to encourage because there's so many barriers. Uh, there's unconscious bias even in um, in policies, even in legislation. And I think the more we question those uh, those biases, those uh, uh, regulations and those legislation, the more we question them and see how we can improve them, the better as a society we are. You see how uh, COVID ravaged you know, the world yeah. and we had to band together as a community to work through it. So we are stronger together and we have to look after everybody in the community. And you know, this presence, this is huge for Longford is huge for Ireland. Mm. Like the reaction on the international scene has been incredible. Because I was going to uh, <laughs> say, you feel like Kamala Harris. Absolutely. Like, just been the outpouring <laughs> of messages that you've received. Yeah. What's it been like for your family back home in Nigeria? Oh, it's incredible. They keep sending me all messages, people asking, is that your sister? I thought <laughs> I recognized her. And, you know, even friends are telling me in their different WhatsApp groups and Facebook groups, people are popping up these and they're saying, do you have any photos of two of us so that I can put it up that, you know, just to confirm I know her, you know, it's been so encouraging. And those messages as well encourage me and motivate me to keep working hard because I'm inspiring people and, and you know, showing people that no matter your circumstances, as long as you work hard, you know, you can achieve successes. And I have to pay credit to my colleagues on the on the Longford County Council as well because you know it was a unanimous um, decision to elect me I was unopposed so I obviously without their support I wouldn't, you be, wouldn't here. be here and so of course you got a message from you um, your party leader oh my god I saw my phone ringing I almost fell off my seat <laughs> it was me <laughs> it was me Martin, our -shock. it was incredible and uh, I'm so you know I'm so fortunate to to um, to have received that you know personal congratulation message it's it's amazing so is this the start then of a political career then are we going to see you running for senator or for TD or down the line is is that the plan well the plan is to go as far as this career takes me so absolutely whatever opportunity presents itself I am a hard worker I've worked hard all my life I don't shy away from uh, from challenges so you know if the opportunity presents itself absolutely I'd like to move further in my career and what about the children? Have they any inclination? Are they too young or do you think they, they might get involved as well? I am trying hard to get them to, <laughs> to be involved. They, they are just in a position of acknowledgement at, at this moment, which, which is positive. They haven't said, you know, heck no. So um, I'll, keep, I'll keep plowing away. So. Exactly. And Remy, what do you hope to achieve, achieve in the day job? Like, what do you have your sights set on in terms of, you know, pushing over the line? Yeah, so um, Longford has suffered in, in, in terms of the exit of industry significantly. So what I'm hoping for is to encourage an influx of industry, to encourage uh, foreign direct investment. Mm -hmm. If they're looking for diverse communities, doesn't get more diverse than this you know mm. um, and we are we are kind of we are we're ready to take on a new businesses and and housing as well to get people to build to get people to buy their homes and choose Longford as a place to live so that they have their jobs they have their homes they have you know businesses they can shop there's retail my outfit here I, I, I purchased it from unique boutique in Longford I promised her I'd give her a plug this morning so hi Geraldine but I mean that's um, what we're all doing isn't it because we have to after the pandemic support yeah. local and and think local that's the thing to absolutely, do absolutely absolutely and I encourage my friends as well and I encourage people to support your local economy because if we don't grow our local economy you know our local economy is going to die and you know it, it will be what I would love to see is my children settle in Longford right next to me so that, you know, yeah. I don't have to travel and they don't have to travel. I can see my grandkids hopefully in the future. So I have to encourage that. And I'm hoping, you know, for the next 12 months, I'll work hard to, to, uh, to continue to grow our, our local economy and see more businesses come in, more people settle in Longford. Well, I don't uh, doubt that you'll achieve yes, it. Yes, indeed. Yeah, congratulations. Congratulations. Very exciting. It's great. Uh, we shall take a quick break now. Join us for more on Zam shortly.